In this video, I'm just going to quickly test out uh, Microsoft Whiteboard and Google Jam to see which one might be better for online collaborative whiteboard sessions. I'm running both these in the browser on a Linux platform, so using Firefox as a browser, just to try and see how this will work. Um, if you go to whiteboard.microsoft.com and you have a Microsoft account, you should be able to access the whiteboard. So if you click on create a new whiteboard, it's a bit of a lag as it starts to, to build up the whiteboard. But what you end up with is quite a simple and clean interface. A couple of pens, an eraser and a move button. So the, the interface itself is quite smooth and nice. You can draw pictures quite easily. Erasing is pretty simple. Um, writing concepts, connecting them up with kind of other nodes and having ideas is fairly quick and smooth. Colors seem to work quite nicely. Um, and one of the things about this whiteboard is as you want to add more ideas, you have an infinite canvas um, and you can extend quite easily. The structure works quite nicely. So for example, right now I'm um, using a graphics tablet with a pen. And as you can see, that drawing simple figures and controls and stuff is, is, is pretty nice. And the fine detail works quite quite well as an approach. It's smooth um, and, and seems to be pretty responsive. You have some sharing buttons and collaborative buttons. So try and get somebody else on this call and try to share the, this, the, the, the whiteboard with them should work quite nicely. The other option you have is Google Jam. So Google Jam uh, the Jamboard, you have a series of pens and colors. The, the flow is a bit choppier, as you can see. Circles don't flow quite as nicely. And the pen itself is um, easy enough to write with, but perhaps not as smooth. Changing colors is fairly simple, but you need to kind of change the pen. There are a few more buttons in here. The eraser works it works alright. Perhaps uh, for me, the biggest issue is if you want to try and write smoothly, you do need to zoom in a little bit. And that gives you more control over the, the kind of lines you make. It's fairly straightforward to, to, to zoom in and fit out um, and, and, and fit and move things around. Um, you can add more frames relatively easily. But for me personally, the the infinite board is a lot easier to, to work with. Um, you can add them images and so on if you want to from your from your system. Uh, all in all, right now I think Microsoft's uh, tool here is um, just smoother and easier to use compared to the Google tool. But both do give you collaborative collaboration options. And if you haven't got a Microsoft account, then the chances are you have a, a free Google one that allows you to use this.